E W S. Well, how could we start off the overnight underground news blip today without quoting the New York Post front page lead? Bezos exposes Pecker. First, a little background. The Pecker in question is David Pecker, longtime BFF of President Trump and head honcho of American Media Incorporated. In a post on Medium, Bezos alleges the Enquirer and its parent company, AMI, were threatening to publish pictures of his private parts if he doesn't stop investigating the Enquirer's recent reporting of his affair with gal pal Lauren Sanchez. What a tangled web we weave. According to one source, a reporter from the Washington Post says that the investigator hired by Bezos believes that some leaks to the Enquirer between Bezos and Sanchez may have been forwarded by a government entity. Washington Post's Manuel Roig Franzia. Manuel Rog Franzia. I don't know. And for the sake of transparency, the Post is owned by Amazon boss Jeff Bezos, made this claim on MSNBC. They have begun to believe the Bezos camp that this uh, publication by the National Enquirer might have been politically motivated. I would just add one other thing. Gavin De Becker told us that he does not believe that Jeff Bezos's phone was hacked. He thinks it's possible that a government entity might have gotten hold of his text messages. In my humble opinion, the best part of this story is the fact that the cable news talking heads are constantly saying pecker. And Pecker is trending big time on Twitter. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez released an overview of her long-anticipated Green New Deal yesterday and promised a, quote, massive transformation of our society. Included in her proposal, upgrade or replace every building in the U.S. for state-of-the-art energy efficiency, decommission every nuclear power plant within 10 years, build out high-speed rail at scale where air travel becomes unnecessary, free education, provide healthy food to every American, and economic security for all who are unable or unwilling to work. AOC said this on MSNBC. I also believe that, like all big movement moments in American history, young people are, are, are putting the gas in the tank to really accelerate our, our timelines on reaching our goals. Of course, the big question is, who's going to pay for all this? Maybe she could try the Mexico will pay for it line. That would always play as well. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, the political version of don't stick your d*** in crazy. This may seem obvious to some, but rats have invaded City Hall in Los Angeles. According to KTLA, the problem is serious enough that one employee has been infected with typhus, and all the carpets in the government building may need to be torn out and replaced. L.A. County health officials first reported a typhus outbreak in downtown L.A. last year and recorded 142 typhus cases in Los Angeles County. Typhus is typically spread via fleas that have been infected by rodents. (laughs) Actual sounds of screaming women in City Hall running from the vermin. Elizabeth Greenwood, an L.A. City employee who contracted typhus, noted on local TV station KTLA. I was so sick I thought I was going to die. Who thinks of typhus? I think of typhus as something that I read about in history books. Greenwood is refusing to return to work until City Hall is fumigated. Maybe they'll accomplish this next election. Talk about horsing around. A Mobile, Alabama teen with a history of horse molestation is under arrest following attempts to break into homes while carrying a stun gun, scissors, and a large sex toy. WGNO reports that 19-year-old Daniel Bennett is in custody after a homeowner spotted him attempting to break through her kitchen window. According to police, Bennett was carrying a taser, a pair of hairstyling scissors, a pack of razor blades, and a large rubber sex toy with a tube attached to it. Shoot, a fella could have a pretty good weekend in Vegas with all that stuff. Back in 2018, Bennett was arrested for breaking into a barn and sexually molesting a horse. Whoa there, cowboy. N-E-W-S.